as the film grew as a feature length instead of a short, um, how did these interviews come into play? You're contacting people across the country or they're contacting you that own tiny homes or are thinking of building them? How did that come about and what's been the response? Well, uh, so actually when we, when we set out to do this, um, we started the film first. So I, I bought the land and I was still in grad school actually and finishing my master's in, it, in like this accelerated program so basically I had no time to start the house until I started wrapping that up. Um, but we did have, uh, I was on spring break and we decided to go to San Francisco just on just for a, a visit basically to see some friends and that was that's where Jay Schaefer is from and so kind of on a lark I sent an email to Tumbleweed and said hey can we get an interview with you? Um, we're gonna make this documentary about tiny houses and you know he said he would and, and so all of a sudden we were doing it and, and so we, we actually shot probably three or four interviews before ever starting the house and well <laughs> I, mean, I think one interesting thing is that one of the things that's made us sort of able to take on this project you know being our, the first film that both of us have worked on um, you know as our own project is that the the people in the tiny house community have been so encouraging from the beginning I mean I remember when we went to interview Jay Schaefer, you know, he was the first interview that we did. We hadn't done any other filming, um, and we kind of showed up with our DSLR camera. And it's funny because um, there was a reporter from The New Yorker who was there the same day interviewing him. And I remember just thinking, I mean, the fact that we were these, you know, two kids who'd call, like, emailed kids. him. Well, we like these, you know, these two people who, you know, had, like, emailed him out of nowhere. And, um, you know, like, probably didn't seem like super professional, you know, and he has this New Yorker reporter and just the fact that he had made time for us, you know, not, you know, we didn't have a ton of credentials, I guess is what I mean, you know, behind us when we contacted him. And, and I think, you know, from the beginning, people have treated us, you know, in a way that has made us want to, to move forward and tell this story. And I think that, you know, we've learned a lot in the last year and a half. And I think that now, you know, we're, we have a lot to show, you know, and, and we're pretty professional and things like that. But, um, you know, but just the fact that from the get-go, we were sort of treated as documentary filmmakers, I think made it, um, you know, more of an impetus to actually to actually make the film, you know, moving forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people have been really generous with their time. And we've actually, uh, in the early days, I think it was a bit of a challenge to track down people to, for the film in, in that we, we were looking for a certain um, type of people to show in the film, mostly because, you know, as far as the message, you know, we, we've 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 seen hostility towards the tiny house movement from people who aren't that familiar with it, on in terms of comments on blogs and things like that, and so we thought that if for this message, the best way, the most likely way that people would be susceptible to hearing it would be if we profiled people that were relatively. Um, normal, you know, appearing and, and sort of, you know, so people could picture themselves living in a house similar to, you know, as, as these people did. So um, we were so, so basically we were trying to find different types of people that were also not, you know, so far in, in, into the fringe that, that people couldn't relate to them. We wanted the, the, the um, characters in the film to be relatable and to, and to be people that would, you would be friends with and, um, and stuff. So, and then there's also, you know, in the small house world, there's a lot of people who don't, it's kind of quasi illegal. So they don't really want to be interviewed or they don't want to advertise that they're doing this. And so, you know, the, the internet's been great, but it's, there's limitations too. So, 